Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel, Knowledge World. In today's video, we will talk about the geographical coordinate system. So friends, before starting the video, if you have not yet, like, share, and subscribe to my channel, please do, so that you get the notification my new videos. So, let's start the video. Before knowing about geography coordinate system, let us know about the father of GIS. Dr. Roger F. Tomlinson Lifespan, 17 November 1933 to 7 February 2014. He was an English geographer and primary promoter of the modern computerized geographic information system, and has been acknowledged as the father of GIS. Geographic Coordinate System a geographic coordinate system is a spherical or geodetic coordinate system, for measuring and communicating positions directly on the Earth as, latitude and longitude. It is the simplest, oldest and most widely used of the various spatial reference systems, that are in use, and forms the basis for most others. Although, latitude and longitude form a coordinate tuple, like the Cartesian coordinate system, the geographic coordinate system is not Cartesian because the measurements are angles, and not on a plane surface. The different coordinate system used in GIS are, number 1, number line, number 2, Cartesian, number 3, polar, number 4, cylindrical and spherical, and number 5, homogeneous. Let us now, understand all the parts in detail. Number 1, number line. In basic mathematics, a number line is a picture of a graduated straight line, that serves as abstraction for real numbers, donated by R. Every point of a number line is assumed to correspond to a real number, and every real number to a point. The integers are often shown as specially marked points, evenly spaced on the line, although, this image only show the integers from minus 9 to, 9, the line includes all real numbers, continuing forever in each direction and also numbers not marked that are between the integers. It is often used as an aid in teaching simple addition and subtraction, especially involving negative numbers. Number 2, Cartesian coordinate system. A Cartesian coordinate system is a coordinate system that specifies each points uniquely in a plane by a pair of numerical coordinates which are the sine distance to the point from two fixed perpendicular directed lines measured in the same unit of length. Each reference line is called a coordinate axis, or just axis of the system, and point where they meet, is its origin, and ordered pair, 0, 0. The coordinates can also be defined, as the positions of the perpendicular projections of the point, onto the two axes, expressed as sine distances from the origin. Number 3, Polar Coordinate System. The Polar Coordinate System is a two-dimensional coordinate system, in which each point on a plane is, determined by a distance from a reference point, and an angle from a reference direction. The reference point is called the pole, and the ray from the pole in the reference direction is the polar axis. The distance from the pole is called, the radial coordinate, radial distance or simply radius, and the angle is called the angular coordinate, polar angle, or azimuth. Number 4 cylindrical and spherical coordinate system, which we will understand, one by one. Number 4.1, cylindrical coordinate system. A cylindrical coordinate system, is a three-dimensional coordinate system, that specifies point positions by the distance from a chosen reference axis, axis Z in the image opposite, the direction from the axis relative to two chosen reference directions, axis X, and axis Y and the distance from a chosen reference plane perpendicular to the axis, plane containing the green section. The latter distance is given as a positive, or negative number, depending on which side of the reference plane faces the point. The distance from the axis may be called, the radial distance, or radius, while the angular coordinate is, sometimes referred to as the angular position, or as the azimuth. The radius and the azimuth are together called the polar coordinates, as they correspond to a two-dimensional polar coordinate system, in the plane through the point, parallel to the reference plane. 
The third coordinate may be called, the height, or altitude, longitudinal position, or axial position. Number 4.2, Spherical Coordinate System. A spherical coordinate system, is a coordinate system, for three-dimensional space, where the position of a given point in space, is specified by three numbers. For this, we try to study three-dimensional space models, where the three axes, x, y and z, are measurements, and a fixed point is drawn, whose position is specified by three numbers. Where first, a perpendicular line is drawn from the fixed point to the x-y plane, which is joined to the origin, o, and the fixed points from the origin are joined together to obtain the radial distance, and also two angles. Consists of theta and phi. The polar angle, theta, is measured between the z-axis, and the radial line, r. The azimuthal angle, phi, is measured between the orthogonal projection of the radial line, r, onto the reference xy plane, which is orthogonal to the z-axis, and passes through the fixed point of origin, and either of the fixed x-axis, or y-axis, both of which are orthogonal to the z-axis, and to each other. Once the radius is fixed, the three coordinates, r, theta, phi, known as a three-tuple, provide a coordinate system on a sphere, typically called the spherical polar coordinates. Number 5, Homogeneous Coordinate System. Homogeneous Coordinate System, is a system through, which three-dimensioned coordinates are used instead of, two-dimensioned coordinates to position a point, or image in the proper position. Whereas specifying a point on a projective line, requires two homogeneous coordinates, specifying a point in the projective plane, requires three homogeneous coordinates. In such a situation, an additional coordinate, W, has to be added to convert two-dimensional coordinates into, three-dimensional coordinates. Thus, the process of representing a point or object, with three numbers instead of two numbers, is called homogeneous coordinate system. To perform a sequence of transformations, such as, translation, rotation and scaling, we need a sequential process, in which coordinates are, first, translated, after that the translated coordinates are rotated, and scaled. Finally, the point or object, is translated back to the original point, 